What happens when an advanced and focused hacker takes on a well-funded and prepared security team? Well, we find ourselves in a heavyweight battle. In the red corner, undefeated since joining the hacking scene in 2022, with hundreds of victims, including DoorDash, Twilio, and Cloudflare, we have the Masters of the Sea, the Marine Mollusk, the Octopus Hacking Group. And in the blue corner, with over 100 million active users, over $250 billion of crypto assets managed, and over $3.2 billion of prize money earned in 2022, we have Coinbase, a leading crypto exchange. As you can imagine, these two heavyweights are gonna go hand to hand to see who's going to come out on top. Let's get a recap of that battle and see just how the attackers tried to hack in and what Coinbase did to counter. As Coinbase employees were enjoying their Sunday afternoon, a hacker started sending text messages trying to engage with these employees and encourage them to log into a website to receive an urgent message from Coinbase. This type of attack is known as smishing. Smishing, smish, smish, smishing, smishing, smishing. One of those Coinbase employees fell for this smishing attack and entered their username and password to access this web page. When they accessed that, it just said, hey, thanks, but no worries here, just go on about your day. In reality, what happened was that employee's username and password were sent to the attacker. The attacker then tried to log in to Coinbase's assets using that employee's username and password but the attacker threw their punch and forgot one critical piece of information they needed to log in, the multi-factor authentication mechanism. When the attacker tried to log in with just the username and password, they were prompted for MFA, they didn't have it, and so they were thwarted. But the attacker was ready with another counterattack. 20 minutes after the attacker got the username and password for that employee, the attacker then called that employee on the phone. They impersonated the IT help desk for Coinbase and told that employee that they needed their help to accomplish some task. Coinbase told us that during this session, the attacker was able to get a limited amount of information on Coinbase employees, specifically email addresses, phone numbers, and employee names. Now, this doesn't sound bad, but the attacker could use this information to send more targeted phishing attacks to those employees. Now, the attacker was making progress here, but Coinbase wasn't just sitting here taking those punches. Within the first 10 minutes of the attack, Coinbase's security team was alerted to suspicious activity in the network. The security team reached out to that phished employee using an internal messaging program to see if the user was doing what they were seeing in those logs. This is when that Coinbase employee realized that something was terribly wrong and that the purported IT person from Coinbase was in fact not a Coinbase employee. When Coinbase's security team realized that this was a phishing attack, they suspended that employee's access to the environment so that they can perform a full investigation. Because of Coinbase's quick reaction to this attack, they are the clear winner here. There was no Coinbase customer information that was accessed. There were no stolen crypto funds. The only thing that we saw that was stolen or accessed or even just viewed was some employee information for Coinbase. Regardless, there's one thing for certain. This attacker is going to be ready for a rematch and Coinbase is prepared and ready to respond accordingly.